I'm a stand beautiful souls. We are doing why is the divine masculine haunted by the feminine? Let's clear the space, be close your eyes, take a deep inhale, breathing in the breath of God, dropping in your heart space, calling forward your ascended masters, your spirit guides, and angels, inviting the Holy Spirit to purify your body, mind, and soul, welcoming Saint Germain and the violet flame to cleanse out your aura. Inviting Archangel Raphael to do a light body scan, sending in the healing energy that is needed at this time. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Inviting Archangel Michael, shielding, clearing us. Archangel Gabriel to the West, allowing you to see your truth, hear your truth, speak your truth, and to walk your truth within 24 hours. Archangel Uriel, commanding forth our divine light, casting out shadows, lower energies. Bring us self-forgiveness, self-compassion. Archangel Sanathan grounds us to Mother Earth, and Archangel Metatron from above brings us the God Self through Christ, Buddha Consciousness. Taking this moment to breathe into your heart. Connect the stillness of your heart, bring you peace and gratitude. Bring your hands in Namaste position. By your head, honoring you for being here, incarnating at this time, thanking God, your ancestors, your spirit guides, and angels. And slowly opening your eyes. Namaste, everyone. So what I was getting, um, oh, a few announcements. If you are a spiritual uh, medium, a reader, um, a healer, I am doing a spiritual intuitive class on 1111 for the 1111 portal. I'm actually doing it to help others um, on their journey, on their spiritual journey. So if you followed me from the beginning, you saw that I did start from zero to 1,000. And then I went from zero to almost 14,000 on Instagram. And on TikTok, I'm almost at a million likes and maybe 50,000 followers. I did this all divinely guided. So I had to create this class to help those on their journey. I see some struggling. They have two likes, 10 likes, five likes. So I'm here to help you on your journey. Um, you can go to my website, IamLifeCoaching.com. The class does begin this Thursday on the 11th. It's a two-part, and it's also next Thursday at 7 p.m. I will be having a PDF handout as well, so I hope you like it. And please only book a session through me at IamLifeCoaching.com. I would never text you, email you, asking you for money, um, creating fake accounts. Somebody has Satara, a different fake name with my photo on it, pretending to be me asking for money. All right, so why did the mask, why is the mask on haunted by <clears throat> They... They are trying to do this all themselves, so they're not really asking for guidance from their team or their friends. I'm really being drawn to Mother Mary here at a wedding. And then there's an engagement here. So some of you could be married, engaged. For some of you, I feel your person is not in their faith, is what I'm hearing. They haven't fully ascended, and for some of them, it is coming in as a past life. So from a past lifetime, I feel that your person, they're showing me the Five of Cups, left you out in the cold, um, you and your children. You were married. They went with the karmic. So for some of them, the sacrifice was to sacrifice you, feminine, taking the money, taking the home, taking everything, and going with the karmic. In this lifetime, the masculine is repeating the same karmic cycle. So the reason they're haunted of you is the last thing they thought of in the last past lifetime was you. They are haunted of the image of you from this past lifetime that they left you out in the cold. They are trying to stay very optimistic, but I feel they don't think they, they don't think they're going to be very victori victorious. They are haunted by you because they are struggling with codependency. Addictions are affecting your romance life. So addiction could be um, 
If your person is struggling in the past, not releasing the past, that creates depression. If they are focusing in the future, that is stress and anxiety. So this masculine is numbing his pain with the addiction of alcohol, drugs, drugs, um, SEX, video games, caffeine, alcohol, any lower vibrational energy, anything that he is attached to. We are sovereign beings and we're supposed to be in a place of non-attachment. So this, your person is really struggling. They numb the pain of the past of the hurt that they caused you with addictions, with anything that is, and I'm, this is not coming from judgment, what the angels have said, when you are engaging in a lower vibrational energy, you are not in your light. So you are actually welcoming lower vibrational energies into your energy field. So they, where they think they're thinking, getting information from their, higher self, they're getting it from their ego. They need to release their ex. So some of them are still entwined energetically with a third party situation. The time has come to clear your energy. So from feminines or masculines, if you're cross watching this, write your person a letter, release your person, do a burn and release. And this is going to help, but masculines really need to energetically let go of their karmic for some of them. They are engaged in a great deal of partners. They seek self-validation. They seek this in other women. They seek self-validation, so they prefer flings instead of committed relationships. They want to get to know you, feminine, but they are very haunted by the past. They are very attracted to you. There's a very strong attraction that they have towards you. Maybe they've not said it. They've kept it to themselves. Very soon, they need to decide if they're coming towards you or not. They are still healing family issues. So some of them healing inner child. Some of them, this family healing issue is ancestral, and they need to heal that timeline is what I just heard. So where they have a great deal of passion, they are not allowing this passion. Allow your heart to soul to sing. So because they are suppressing this, they are still being haunted by you. For some of them, it could be religious factors. So this masculine could think that they are more awakened than you are, that they are more spiritual. Maybe you are too, your person thinks you're too religious. Um, for some, there could be an age difference. For some of these masculines, they are racist. They think that they, I'm hearing like the God syndrome, they think that they're better than everyone else. For some, this masculine feels that he doesn't believe in what, whatever teachings, whatever you believe in feminine, your masculine may have made fun of it. Um, I just see this person like poking fun and trying to put the feminine down. They don't love themselves. So they're haunted by the memory of you because of their lack of something that happened in the past, a past life that you both share. So I keep this short. Why is this masculine haunted? By the feminine, they've never set very healthy boundaries. They're on the defense. They have a great deal of love for you, feminine. But I feel like their upbringing. So your person could have been raised as a traditional. And you were more spiritual, more open. Maybe in your upbringing, feminine, you were more, I'm, I'm seeing like Zen spirituality. You had a very strong foundation in your faith. This person still needs to close out cycles. This is karma. 
so there's karma from a past lifetime that you share or that for some of you I see that you're in a love triangle between you a karmic and your masculine they're haunted by this karma from a different past lifetime they are very withdrawn they need to leave the past behind they're feeling very overwhelmed some of them could be struggling financially they were very deceptive they're being mentally tortured they're mentally torturing themselves right now I feel for some in this past lifetime abundance was an issue so instead of sharing the timeline of abundance with you in this past lifetime this masculine took it shared it with their karmic they are feeling very isolated very lonely very disappointed. I feel like the disappointed themselves are coming with the Eight of Swords. A lot of it has to do from a past lifetime that this masculine is repeating the same karmic cycle. Why is this masculine haunted? The feminine. So the first card out was they're not listening to their ancestors. They're not listening to their guides. They're not using alchemy. They just have, they're leading with fear, doubt, lack. They're just haunted by you because they're not, they don't feel that they can manifest you back in. They're not being very vulnerable. They're very guarded. For some of them, they're giving you the silent treatment, and they feel that this is a stalemate, that it's not. This masculine, this person, feels that even if they return right now, it wouldn't work out. They want to come in and offer you this offer of love. They want union with you. They want to integrate. They're haunted by the memory of you, by the distance. They're not listening to their higher self, and they're not resting. This masculine is too much in their masculine energy. Why is this masculine haunted by the feminine? You broke me first. So this masculine is blaming the feminine. They seek attention from other women because they are lonely and unsure of themselves. So some of these, this masculine was not only with their karmic, they have been trying to replace you, feminine, and no matter how many times they try to replace you, they're haunted by your memory. Every person, they, some of them are seeking women who look like you. And they know that you would have said yes. They know that this union is faded. There could have been you guys. You could have talked about marriage. I'm getting all stuttery with my talk. With my, I feel this masculine around you gets very. This, I can't even talk right now. Trips over his words. Sometimes I do what I do to numb the pain. So, this this person uses addictions these addictions are actually blocking their ascension journey their awakening journey and we need to become awakened we need to ascend go through the heaven on earth portal they're not listening to what others say they're wearing emotional armor they're haunted because they know that this is a high-level commitment. They're haunted from the past. They know that union is here, but they haven't been working on it. I fill my self-love cup with other women. I'm in denial. Am I strong enough to be your man? So this masculine has insecurities from childhood. I check your social media every day. I'm afraid that spark may be too much in my, and I lose myself. So in reality, your person, you may feel
feel that they're all put together. They may pretend that they're like this well put together person on the outside, but on the inside, they are crumbling. This energy was very intense for this person. Your light was very intense, feminine, because it was so pure. It was so unconditional love. You didn't come in with all these demands. I feel that you just wanted to love your person. Why did this masculine, why is he haunted by the feminine? I heard, I, I tried to play you, but I just played myself. Your masculine loves you. They're done running. They want to come back in. They've been thinking about taking you out on a date, surprising you. They, they didn't mean to hurt you. It wasn't you. It was me. And I feel somebody needs to hear this right now. Some of the feminines are really taking this journey of the masculine personal. I know we're being spiritually guided. So on a higher level, this person knows this. I'm not used to a connection like this, so I run. I really do miss you a lot. Give me a second chance. No one can change my love for you. So this person has been trying to date or trying to replace you. I've been having dreams about you. So you're being asked then from them to just keep doing your work, keep doing your shadow work. Please, the best thing you can do is heal you. The best thing you can do, your person is going to return. They are going to return. Some of them may come in as false starts, false starts, false starts. They will return because there's unfinished business. They are being divinely guided to return. However, you're going to have to trust your intuition if this person is coming in as a false start or not. Also, you're going to have to forgive your person. The forgiveness isn't for them. The forgiveness is for you to finally set yourself free. Um, I'm seeing like half and half. Feminine, some of you are going to take your person back. Some of you are done. Um, I feel that you. some of you have already connected with your soulmates. This masculine is going to have to come in to finish you have unfinished business on the table. So please trust your intuition. Please meditate, meditate, meditate. Clear your energy daily. You should not be allowing someone to cord themselves to your energy. They have their journey. You have yours. Clean out your aura. Have Archangel Michael cut cords daily, every single day, cutting cords, clearing energy. So that's all I have. I'm sending you guys so much love. Please be gentle. Be kind with yourselves. This is not... An easy journey if you're constantly chasing, if you're not honoring yourself, if you're not healing you. The best self-love is healing you and setting very healthy boundaries. I'm sending you guys so much love. I love you. Namaste. Bye.